gonna go out here and check and see if we have any bunny babies yet. I'm starting to believe that our New Zealand may have had a false pregnancy. She nested probably a week or so ago. Yeah, it's been a week today that she um, pulled fur. She actually started nesting before then, but she pulled fur a little over a week ago today and still no babies. So we're gonna go in here and see if by any chance she had the babies last night. I'm not counting on it, but I'm hopeful. Any babies? Looks like she's been moving her fur around. Are there babies in there, Mama? There are. There are babies in there. We have seven beautiful little New Zealand babies. I'm so excited. I was starting to think she wasn't going to have any. So look how pretty. Oh, we've got some pretty colors. Look, this is like a, two gray ones, a black one, and looks like four white ones. Or oh, maybe those are like chocolate. I'm not sure what colors, but they are so precious. All right, y'all, when I got on here, I did not look at what I look like. I just rolled out of bed, threw some clothes on, and headed outside just to see if we had rabbit babies because I was anxious to see. Today was day 31, and she nested over a week ago, and she pulled fur a week ago. So usually they only pull fur, like, right before they get ready to give birth. So this was rare, and I, I mean, I guess it's just her. All rabbits are different, but I was expecting babies days ago. From her and then I was starting to think we weren't going to get any so I wanted to come and check I thought if there's none out here today which I was totally not expecting there to be any that we wouldn't get any and it was just a false pregnancy but I'm so excited that she's got them in there I cannot wait to get a better look at them and get them all out and look at them without all the fur she pulled a ton of fur so they are all wrapped in that fur and they're hopping around she's in there now uh, nursing so she's taking good care of her babies and I'm excited. And I'll um, share some more videos of the babies with y'all and more videos of the quail. I've got to get them a more permanent brooder set up. I really underestimated how big, I mean, how small the quail are. Um, I wish I had got this on video, but I wasn't even thinking about video. And last night I got home from work about eight o'clock and we decided to go ahead and get the quail out of the incubator because they had been in there for over 12 hours and they were all completely dry. So my husband and I came out to um, our little bunny room, which is where we usually keep our chicks, and we got our brooder out. And it's uh, two 55-gallon um, totes that are joined. And we brought it in. We thought, oh, we're going to put these little quail in here and get their brooder all fixed up. Let me tell you, that is way too big for baby quail. Um, unless you had maybe thousands of them. So we got the top off the, um, took the top off the incubator. And let me go ahead and tell you now, if it's your first time doing quail, do not take the top off the incubator on an elevated basis because these things are shooting out everywhere, jumping everywhere. I mean, we were in a panic. It would have been comical to watch us try to get these quail uh, in their brooder last night. But... Sorry I didn't get that on video for y'all. And I thought the dog could actually eat one at one point. My husband was chasing the dog around the house. He didn't, he didn't even have one. We just miscounted. So it was quite comical. But all of our quail are safe. And they are all in the incubator. And they're all doing good. They're eating and they're drinking. And now our little baby bunnies are over here nursing on their mama. It is a happy weekend on the farm. And we've got our new baby goat. So... Y'all, it's happy weekend, and I'm so excited to share all the new babies with y'all. All right, here's a better look at the babies. Mama. 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 All 
right, he heading down to the um, goat barn, my husband's had to rig up some um, ways to keep the baby goat in because she's a little escape artist. She has learned how to jump the Dutch door, uh, so we can't keep the Dutch door open and keep her in that pen. She just jumps right over it and comes on out and just helps herself. And then um, she was squeezing through the gate here, so we he rigged up this little board until she gets a little bigger. So we're gonna go see how the baby goats are doing. And Miss Luna's down there wanting out this morning, so I'll get her on a leash and let her um, come with me to do chores. She's not able to stay out as much because the um, baby goat, and I'm scared she's gonna hurt it because she's so much bigger than it, just and not mean to hurt it. So we're keeping her locked up. But here's Miss Maggie. Hey, Mac. How you doing? Oh, you're cold, huh? We gotta get her warmed up. All right, so I come in and woke everybody up to bring the goat in the bed because it's freezing. Well, it's not freezing, but it's shaking and I gotta get her warmed up and make sure she's still moving around fine. I think I caught her early enough, thank God. But we're gonna get her a heat lamp out there so that she can stay warm. Um, but. We're gonna keep her inside for a little bit. Got her wrapped up in the blanket. And I'm gonna go fix her a bottle. Poor little baby. I'm so sorry you got cold, honey. All right, so we're gonna get baby girl some milk. Come on. Go, go say no. She needs some. No. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Didn't y'all get woke up in a pleasant way this morning yeah. to a baby goat in the bed? I mean, what better way to wake up? Good. All right, so baby goat's inside in the bed, all cozy and getting warm. She's had her morning bottle. We're going to go out and feed the pigs and check on the boy goats. Come a-running. <coughs> got to get Luna out, too. I didn't get her out because I got caught up in what was going on with the goat. So we're on the way to Tractor Supply now. This is Daddy's little baby right here with her little diaper on and everything. He even let her lay in the bed this morning with him all cuddled up in a blanket. He loves her, don't you, Daddy? Hey, what was I supposed to do? You come in there and says, oh my gosh, y'all, she's shaking. Put her in the bed. <laughs> we ain't getting up right now. So, we're driving to Tractor Supply now to get a heat lamp for her. Well, we got a heat lamp. We just got to get a bulb for it. And nobody should be able to stay out in the barn. But we're not all going in. We're going to sit out in the truck and wait on Daddy to go in and get it because we don't want to get the coronavirus. So we're trying to stay out of stores as much as possible. So we're going to go do this and go home and get her a little section in the barn fixed up. All right, here's our quail I wanted to show y'all. I got them in this um, tote temporarily, and then when they get bigger, I'll put them in our larger brooder that I was telling you about. But we got a very good variety, all different colors, as you can see. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Um, we got 17 total. We set 30 eggs originally. And I had a lot of problems with my humidity during this incubation, um, keeping it stable. I've learned a lot. This is our first time hatching quail. So I'm very pleased with the outcome of this. Um, excited to see what they turn out to look like once their feathers start coming in. I'll keep y'all updated on how fast they're growing because I know that quail grow very fast. And I'll show y'all when we move them out to their um, coop and everything. But they're doing good. <laughs> Maggie loves to play. She's been chasing us all over the yard. She follows us wherever we go. She gets excited sometimes. It looks so cute the way she hops around. But she loves Grayson and he loves running around with her. Maggie's little spot in the barn all fixed up in her stall 
with her heat lamp and everything and um it's about 2 p.m now so she's been out playing today she's doing good um we got a little project going on back behind our chicken coop we're clearing out some brush and leaves and stuff we're gonna put a fire pit back there but i had lots of luna not luna maggie our baby goat I had locked her in here in her stall because I got her heat lamp over here. I may have to wind up moving it over here. She likes hanging out right there. But I was hoping she'd eat a little bit. I gave her some of her bottle. She took a few sucks off of it and I was hoping she'd eat a little hay so I locked her in for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and um, move her back outside now. Let her hop around with the girls some and I'll show y'all what we're doing back behind our chicken coop. All right, so here's our chicken coop, and we've got this little walkway in between there and our garage. And we've got a bunch of firewood and stuff that we store back here. But he's blowing some leaves out. He's already killed three snakes back here. And um, cleaning up some of this wood so that we can put a little fire pit here, blow the rest of these leaves off, and we can have a little sitting area back here because we um, moved our travel trailer there to where our fire pit was at. So we kind of extend our driveway over that way. So we had to find somewhere else for our fire pit. All right, inside now I'm gonna get some eggs ready. I've gotta go deliver some eggs. So I'm gonna come down here to my collection of egg cartons. I think I have a few. Everybody gives me egg cartons. And I always take them because I know I'm always going to use them. Um, and most of my customers give them back. But every now and then, I get a few that I don't get back. So, I like to have plenty on hand and know that I'm never going to run out of egg cartons. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos from Medlin Family Farm.